with your permission then, and with your encouragement. Uh, we have not joined the European Union long enough ago, long time enough ago, uh, to be able to forget about the complexity and the uh, level of, uh, of um, let's say, challenges uh, to be forgotten. So uh, we still remember very vividly the process, which, ha which was long, very complicated, very complex. And we know that experience uh, here matters. Uh, therefore, <coughs> while being sure about the fact that this is going to be a um, demanding process by Albania, the most we can do is to uh, share our experience. So as we are doing with Moldova and as we have agreed upon with Bosnia and Herzegovina, we have agreed with Albania as well about the training program by the Hungarian Diplomatic Academy to be ensured to the staff members of the public administration, uh, uh, 50 of them in, in Albania, to get the necessary knowledge, expertise and, and uh, experience about how to move forward with the, with the accession uh, procedure. Uh, we will be there, regardless of whether we are presidency or not, uh, for Albania to, to assist them throughout the whole process. Okay. Uh, on the growth plan, where the growth plan was adopted uh, this year, and it works um, in two ways. Uh, first of all, uh, it provides additional investments in all the areas where we uh, need substantive investments uh, for implementing all the reforms that are necessary to become an EU member. This is the 6 billion euros of funding uh, that is allocated to the plan. But for this to work, uh, we need a buy-in uh, from the candidate countries, meaning uh, we need to have a reform agenda from each of them sketching out everything that they are going to do up until the end of this uh, financial period, basically by end of 2027. So this is uh, a program that is going to deliver the same impact, I hope, as a program of a normal life cycle, but only through the life cycle of a half an MFF. So we are talking about three and a half years. Uh, and therefore, the reform agendas are going to be key. Uh, this is what we have agreed by now with our partners. Uh, there's only Bosnia and Herzegovina still missing. Uh, these reform agendas have been approved by uh, the Council last week. So basically, uh, we anticipate the first payments already uh, still this month. This is the plan. This also means that uh, now the clock is ticking uh, to the candidate countries to start delivering on the reforms so that we can advance uh, with the further payments. At the end of uh, this MFF, this program, together with the Economic and Investment Plan, which is mobilizing one-third of the GDP of the whole region, we will have an aid intensity which is comparable to current cohesion and structure of funds countries, meaning 90% of the aid intensity uh, per capita they get, the Western Balkan will get. This means that after that there will be no excuse but to be ready to join the European Union. So we are not only on track, but I think we took a flying start. I hope that this will continue and that the, with the growth plan, we will accelerate all the reforms that are necessary to be a member. Thank you.